Moon Phases Sunglasses Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you these new Ray-Ban sunglasses that I just got and I'll put a link to them from the website, the like, Overstock website I got them from in the description box below. They are cat eye, which I love, um, and I decided, like everything else, that I need to enhance them in some way. So for these, I decided I would go with this, and it's got the moon, four moon phases down each bow. So it's got the four on that side, and then the four on this side, and then across the top of the frames, and then just a little bit on the lens, or on each lens, it says, love you to the moon and back. So it's just, it's really, really fun and really simple and very clean. It's all black and white. So I really love that. Obviously, I love black and white. And I know that these aren't super Halloween, or they're not really Halloween at all, but when I first had the idea to do something with moon phases, my first thought was Halloween. And then I'm kind of in the middle of Halloween season, and I wanted to do the sunglasses, so here we are anyway. So this is going to be one of the few non-Halloween videos that is going to be in the month of October. Most of the other ones will be Halloween oriented, but I hope you guys like it anyway, and please share any of your creations with me on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So here are the Ray-Ban sunglasses, like I said, they came in a Ray-Ban box. Like I also, like I said, they're from like a, an Overstock type website, so yeah, but everything looks really legitimate. They've got the Ray-Ban seal on the case, and yeah, looks good. So the glasses themselves are are exactly what I would expect. Everything came like I would think. I have struggles with packaging though. I mean, that's that's a separate issue. But they look good, they fit good. Um, yeah, I was happy with them. So I'm gonna start and I'm going to be on a sticky note just drawing out my moon, basically. So I did a circle and then I'm going to be adding little curved lines within the circle for the various phases that I want to be sculpting. And so there is that and I'm gonna lay a post-it note, or not a post-it, I'm gonna lay a nail form backing over the top of that little drawing on my post-it note. And then I'm going to be sculpting the shape of that entire circle three times with black. Now this is for each side, so really you're sculpting black circles six times. So you only need six black circles that are and the reason that you're setting the nail form backing on top of the post-it note is because you can see the drawing on the post-it note through the nail form backing. That way you know that you're making each of your six circles the right size and everything's gonna fit later on. So just make sure that you're kind of staying within the lines. So then also on a nail form backing, you're gonna be sculpting all of those phases. So the first one you're gonna do is gonna be an entire circle just because you want it to be a full moon. And then go ahead and start just limiting the amount of acrylic on each one and sort of shaving off a little bit and doing your three other phases. So the next one is just gonna be basically like a three-quarter moon so just take off a little bit from one edge just like that so just have that little bit missing and then move your nail form backing over again then add a little bit less this one is going to be slightly less than half of the moon that's got light hitting it let's so just add that little bit there and kind of if you need to let your acrylic set a little bit before you keep messing with it that's going to make it a little bit better consistency to mold especially on a nail form backing it seems to be a little slipperier than some surfaces to sculpt on so your acrylic might be a little bit more mobile than sometimes and then for the last one you just want it to be a little teeny tiny sliver of a moon so just like a quarter quarter moon And so once you have all of those done and they're all set, you can go ahead and peel all of your little sculpted pieces off and everything that you just made, you're gonna wanna made, make double of. So you're gonna need two of each piece. So then you're gonna start attaching all of your full size circles to the bows of the glasses. So start with the white circle near the hinge and then add the three black circles after that. So just add them. I'm doing this with a little tiny bit of clear acrylic. I'm going to more securely attach them in just a moment, but this is just the beginning just to get them in place. So it doesn't take too much. You're not really gonna be wearing them and messing them up at this point, so they don't have to be too crazy. And then with a little bit more of that clear acrylic, very wet clear acrylic, add that to one edge and one side of each of those black circles and attach your white little moon phases. The reason I put the black circles on underneath your white moons is because especially getting into these last two they're going to be pretty delicate i mean those little points are going to be easy to break so you wanted to have a base underneath them so that they would be nice and strong and you know not break on you right away at this point once they have those little black um, circle bases on them they're really nice and durable and you really shouldn't be too worried so then i'm going to be adding like i said some more acrylic to the back sides of all these to make sure that they are really nicely attached to the bow you can also add some more acrylic if there's any gaps underneath between your white portion of your moon and the black the black little base. Um, I made sure that I did go through and I added a little bit more acrylic around each one just to make sure that they were securely attached to each other and they weren't gonna fall apart or anything. But it didn't take too much, so just make sure that all that is nicely secured. 
And then I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be sponging on some very light gray paint onto my moons. So I just have a little bit on the edge of a makeup sponge and just kind of dabbing it on there. And I'm trying to replicate the pattern from the actual moon and making sure that it kind of continues from each moon going down. So it looks like we are painting the same moon over and over again, or the making the same moon. So then add some darker little shadows with some diluted black paint and then take the sponge and kind of mess them up some so they don't look so precise. And you can just kind of sponge over over the moon again. And my gray paint is still wet when I'm doing this because I just kind of continued on. I didn't wait for anything to dry. So it will blend in together and it'll create really nice soft gradations. And then you can go ahead and touch up if you got any paint on your black moons. You can fix that with a little bit of black paint and kind of clean up the lines if you need to. If it's something that needs to be done. And then I'm going to be highlighting one edge of each of the sides of the moon. So it's going to be the edge that has the original side. So you're going to want to just make sure that you go the same side all the way down. And just highlight that with some white paint. Make sure that it's got a nice little, little bit of brightness where the sun is going to be hitting it. Just like so. Make sure that, it, yeah, it's just going to add so much, so much to the shape. And then I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer over the top of the moons entirely. This is going to make the black look really, really black and the bright white look really nice and bright and clean. So then I did that on, like I said, on both bows, basically the exact same thing. And then on the lenses, like I said, it's on just a tiny bit on the lenses, mostly on the frames. I would have tried to do this entirely on the frames, but they weren't very thick. So I was like, well, you know what? They'll be fine to go over the lenses just a little bit. So I'm writing love you to the moon and back so on the one lens it says love you to the so the first letter you're going to do in the middle of the lens is write the u and then finish the to the after that and these first time the first little bits that i'm painting here i'm not making sure that they're very perfect i'm just doing them very very kind of thin so that later i can go ahead and fix them up if you try to do them as thick as you want them in the end right from the beginning you don't have much room to fix because they're already thick but if you make them nice and thin you have more capability to adjust things and to move things around because you have a little bit more space to work with. So then, like I said, I just went back through and I fixed them up and kind of added a little bit more of the details to all my letters, like crossing my T's. Yeah, you want to make sure you dot all your I's and cross all your T's. So then I'm going to finish the love you. So I've already got that you started. It's not finished yet. It's just in the beginning phases, but then I'll add the O before that and then the Y. And there is that little Ray-Ban logo on there, but I pretty much just ignored it. I figured if I paint over it, I paint over it. If I don't, I don't. It is it is what it is. So then I've got the Y-O, and I'm working on the E, and then the V. And it is a little bit weird to paint over the edge of the lens because there is that little bit of a bump. But it works out pretty well. It's not too bad, and you can do it without much trouble. Then go back through and thicken up your letters. I try to thicken up just one edge of each letter. So all of the vertical lines I thickened and then the horizontal lines, the lines going across, I didn't thicken as much. I had to go over them again just to make sure that the white was really opaque and not streaky looking. But I tried to leave it so that it was almost like a calligraphy appearance and was not all the lines were as thick. So there I've got the L that I'm finishing up. And that's the last little bit for this one, for this side. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to be repeating the process for the other lens not writing the same thing exactly but you know finishing off the little phrase so for this one you're going to want to start with the n of and so that's going to be and back so you're going to add the d after the n and then right back to the other side just going like that and finishing that off and then before that you're going to have to add the a and then write moon so as you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure that you're making your letters a good size that you'll be able to comfortably fit the entire phrase without having a whole bunch of extra weird space. So this might, I mean, it's some, one of those things that's kind of instinctual, and if you do a whole bunch of things like this, eventually it'll just kind of come to you and you won't have to think too much about it. But just try to keep it so that you don't have too much extra space and you don't have to cram your letters in either. So there's moon, and then I'm going to be fixing up. And this one, I did all of the phrase, and I went through and I thickened up, thickened up all of them. This is probably the way that I would recommend doing it. I don't know why I finished part of it, and then went back through and started the rest of it on the other side. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's not like it really makes any difference. But so I'm just going to go through and make sure that they're all nice and nice and perfect looking, and get them looking nice and precise. And like I said, it is kind of awkward to be doing that over the little lip of the over the lip of the frame, but it works out pretty good. So I hope you guys like these. I know I 
I'm really excited about them. I think they look pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so please share any rec recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!